deep philosophy, philosophy from our inner depth. Hello, Agatha. Hi. Hi, Ron. Um, you participated recently in a session, in a contemplation session of deep philosophy uh, on a text, a text contemplation it was, on a text by, the, by Karl Jaspers. And Karl Jaspers was an important thinker of the 20th century from Germany, and he was both a psychiatrist and philosopher, and the text that uh, we contemplated on was from uh, a book of his uh, about the way of wisdom. And the chapter was about the philosophical life. What is a philosophical life? And Jaspers tells us that the philosophical life we, we is something that comes from our desire to live uh, more fully because we are always stuck in this everyday avalanche of events and things. And, and it's the desire to step out and say, hey, what's going on to me? And to connect to the wider horizon, uh, to understand what is happening. Now I understand, Agatha, that the text touched you, that you found it interesting or important. Can you share with us? What is it that you found in this text uh, meaningful to you personally? Yeah, what touched me and I feel meaningful um, text is um, if I meditate in these three forms, self-reflection, transcending meditation, contemplation of my task, and open myself to unlimited communication, an unthinkable presence which can never be forced can come to me. This paragraph uh, really touch me wow an unthinkable presence which can never be forced can come to me what is it uh how do you understand this sentence agatha and why did you find it so touching and so important so when i read this um sentence and i i feel i open myself to deeper thinking um it's a sense of a connection with uh, something beyond ordinary such as such as i can reach a spiritual experience or a profound sense of insight or inspiration and those um, rise from deeper level of my consciousness yeah, yeah and it it also benefits benefits me to open or present in the moment without any disruption or oh, yeah. So I think this approach has helped me uh, pursue a philosophical life as well. So if I may ask a little bit personally, this sense of there is another dimension, uh, right, of, uh, of this unthinkable presence, uh, it, is it something that you feel sometimes in your life? Yeah, because lots of barriers <laughs> in the life and also we we experiencing some crises so lots of um, difficulties so it is those are um, distractions so when when i um have do contemplation i can go to uh, my inner inner words world to listen to my inner voice yeah. So there are moments in your life where you can go back inside, detach yourself from this involvement in the world, yes. and have a meaningful experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Do is there another sentence that you find meaningful in the text? Yeah, I also uh, choose the second sentence. I think th this sentence also has a connection with the, my first one. So this this sentence is, when I return home to myself, I acquire an underlying harmony which persists behind the moods and the movements of the of the day, which sustains me and does not let me sink into the abyss in all my lostness, confusion, 
emotional ups and downs. What does it tell you, this sentence, Agatha? So, returning home to myself is like a journey in words, as a process of um, self-awareness and self-acceptance. And it reminds me of um, the importance of um, connecting with my true self. Yeah. So returning home to myself is also about um, stepping back from eternal distractions and uh, turning into my inner world. So I really like this sen sentence because it reminds me to connecting with who I am. Yeah. And it also helped me to find out uh, my inner harmony and the resilience. Same. Yeah. Yeah. What is the home when I return home to myself? What, what, what do I find in my home? Or what do you find, Agatha, in your home? It's my authenticity, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of a, well, who I am. Yeah. So if when you manage to sort of step back from the world and return home, uh, you feel that you are connected and maybe even discover new things about yourself? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And also listen to my my inner voice rather than other other suggestions or anything for others. Which suggests that in daily life, the attack of the world, the constant noise and suggestions, it, it's so easy to lose yourself in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. Yes. And do you find that this kind of going back home and contemplating um, sustains you through time? Is it more than just a momentary experience? Um, I think I have uh, been participating in this group for one year. So I do, I do think we need more practice. It's not uh, for just one time or for a week or one month. Because as I said, I think we need to, uh, I, I like the philosophical life. It's a need time to practice. Mm. And you connect contemplation, this moving back home to the sessions, the contemplative sessions that we have. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. It's very nice to hear that the contemplative sessions that we have in deep philosophy are meaningful. Thank you, Agatha. Thank you.